Daily Visual Bible. I'm the Avatar version of Robbie Yates, and I would like to welcome you to my home in Second Life. Let me show you around. This area was designed to be a place for people to come and reflect on the Word of God. This is the building in which we keep the television that broadcasts a show that you may be familiar with. Well, I hope you enjoyed the tour of the Daily Visual Bible Land here in Second Life. Please feel free to come and visit us on the 31st of August as we host our first discussion on the book of Genesis. Now let's do the right thing and open God's word of prayer. Lord, I ask that as I read your word, you reveal something new to me. I also ask that as people see and hear your word, they will come to a better understanding of you. Amen. Genesis chapter 38 At that time, Judah went down from his brothers and visited a certain Adullamite, whose name was Hera. Judah saw there a daughter of a certain Canaanite, whose name was Shuha. He took her and went into her. She conceived and bore a son, and named him Er. She conceived again and bore a son, and she named him Onan. She yet again bore a son and named him Sheila. And he was at Chizab when she bore him. Judah took a wife for her, his firstborn, and her name was Tamar. Her, Judah's firstborn, was wicked in Yahweh's sight. Yahweh killed him. Judah said to Onan, Go unto your boy's wife, and perform the duty of a husband's brother to her, and raise up offspring for your brother. Onan knew that the offspring wouldn't be his, and when he went into his brother's wife, he spilled us on the ground. At least he should have gave offspring to his brother. The thing which he did was even on Yahweh's sight, and he killed him also. Then Judah said to Tamar, his daughter-in-law, Remain a widow in your father's house until Shelah, my son, is grown up, in case he also dies like his brothers. Tamar went and lived in her father's house. After many days, Shelah's daughter, the wife of Judah, died. Judah was comforted, and went up to the sheep shearers to Timnah. He and his friend Ira, the Adullamite, Tamar was told, Behold, your father-in-law is going up to Timnah to shear his sheep. She took off her the garments of her widowhood, and covered herself with a veil, and wrapped herself, and sat in the gate of Enam, which is by the way to Timnah, for she saw that Sheila was grown up, and she wasn't given to him as a wife. When Judah saw her, he thought that she was a prostitute, for she had covered her face. He turned to her by the way, and said, Please come, and let me come in to you, for he didn't know that she was his daughter-in-law. He said, What will you give to me, that you may come in to me? He said, I will send you a young goat from the flock. She said, What will you give me a pledge until you send it? He said, What pledge will I give you? She said, Your signet and your cord and your staff that is in your hand. He gave them to her and came into her. And she conceived by him. She rose and went away and put off her veil from her and put on the garments of her widowhood. Judah sent the young goat by the hand of his friend, the Adonamite, to receive the pledge from the woman's hand. He didn't find her. Then he asked the men of the place, saying, Where is the prostitute? Was at Enam, by the road. He said, There has been no prostitute here. He returned to Judah and said, I haven't found her. And also the men of the place said, There has been no prostitutes here. Judah said, Better keep it, lest we be shamed. Behold, I sent this young goat, and you haven't found her. About three months later, Judah was told, Tamar, your daughter-in-law, has played the prostitute. Moreover, behold, 
She is with child by prostitution. Judah said, Bring her out and let her be burned. And she was brought out. She sent to her father-in-law, saying, By the man who these are, I am with child. She also said, Please discern who are these, the signet, and the cords, and the staff. Judah acknowledged him and said, She is more righteous than I, because I didn't give her to Sheila, my son. He knew her again no more. At the time she gave birth, behold, twins were in her womb. When she gave birth, one put out her hand, and the midwife took, and had his garlic thread on his hand, saying, This came out first. As she drew back his hand, behold, his mother came out, and she said, Why have you made a breach for yourself? Therefore his name was called Perez. Afterward, his mother came out, that had the scarlet thread on his hand, and his name was called Zira.